This one has been kicking about for a while now, and we still know little of it, however, it's perhaps one of the most epic mythological tales the world has to offer, and given it's being made by Game Science, a Chinese developer, we're likely to get a much more authentic interpretation than if it had been co-opted by a Western studio. From the promo videos released in the last few years, we know it's going to look good, quite possibly the best looking game I've ever seen. The Eastern approach to choreographing combat could mean it's the game that reinvigorates the rather tired third-person action RPG formula. Crimson Desert is an online open-world title with various twists that might just get you try it out. You'll be set in the world of Pywell, a land that is full of dangers and is constantly changing. The people of this land struggle to get by every single day, and it's up to you and other mercenaries to try and make the land safe again. You are a mercenary in this game, and you'll take on jobs to fight monsters and villains of all types in order to save people. But you don't have to do these jobs alone, team up with others to ensure your victory. Touted as the first ever open world Star Wars game, Star Wars Outlaws, comes to us from Ubisoft Massive Entertainment, the studio best known for its work on the Division franchise. In Star Wars Outlaws, players will assume the role of Cave Vess, an outlaw with one goal in mind, attempt one of the biggest heists the Outer Rim has ever seen. This game takes place between the events of The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi and will feature third-person action gameplay with stealth elements as well as an emphasis on exploration and shooting. As with many recent Star Wars games, Outlaws looks expensive and official with beautiful visuals and presentation to match. The Stalker franchise is actually a bit larger than you might realize, and the only reason we haven't gotten Stalker too hard of Cornerville already is due to real-world events. As a result, the hype for this game will continue to build as time ticks towards its release. And it's aiming to be one of the most expansive versions of the franchise yet, including remolding the exclusion zone that we've been in during the last few games. You'll play as a stalker who is once again trying to make their living by what is there and trying to survive the other stalkers as well as mutant monsters who are trying to get in your way. Door! Open the door! Ugh. Racing games have been embracing more open-world concepts for a while now, and Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown is going to be one to look out for in 2024 as a result. The game intends to bank on the modern advances in technology to grant you the best experiences possible. You'll get to play the game your way in terms of how you look, the cars you drive, and how you drive them. You can focus on the championships that are out there, or, you can go and just drive around Hong Kong Island, in order to just hang loose, you can even bring your friends in and race with them. I will destroy them. Microsoft offered an extensive look at Senua's Saga Hellblade 2 during its Xbox Game Showcase, and it looks more ambitious than expected. It's easily one of the best-looking games in Microsoft's portfolio, but visuals aren't the only thing to look forward to in Ninja Theory's next project. 
it will also boast immersive audio that seems to expand upon its predecessor, which means you should play it with headphones. It'll launch sometime in 2024. The next entry in the Final Fantasy VII Remake Trilogy is nearly upon us. Square Enix finally showed the second part, titled Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, in action and it looks remarkable. Taking place after the events of 2020's remake, Cloud and his friends have escaped Midgar and must battle the evil Sephiroth in Rebirth. This entry will send players to the world of Gaia, which will seemingly be much more open than Midgar from the previous installment. It'll launch in early 2024. Obsidian Entertainment's new RPG Avowed is gearing up to launch in 2024 and it's shaping up to be an incredible experience. The upcoming game will lean into action while preserving the RPG systems Obsidian is known for. Expect fast-paced fantasy combat that allows players to cast spells and even use guns to take down foes and complete quests. Interestingly, Avowed also takes place in the Pillars of Eternity universe as confirmed by Obsidian. The original game in this franchise, Ark Survival Evolved, brought a lot of things to the table and amazed fans with how everything was handled. Ark 2 is aiming to expand that in a major way, including by making the world even bigger than it was before. In the game, you'll play as someone with no true memory of who they are and waking up to a world that is full of contradictions in terms of who and what is there. Now. You must do what you can to explore and harness this world and team up with some of its heroes to keep its people safe. Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 was already an impressive accomplishment from a design perspective, placing the entire planet at players' fingertips. Now, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 aims to add to the immersion, offering even more things to do. The new installment features more objective-based missions such as aerial firefighting, search and rescue, and helicopter transport, all powered by a Sobo Studios Evolved Engine. Prince of Persia The Lost Crown is a 2.5D side-scrolling action platformer with Metroidvania elements. It will lean heavily into action with massive boss battles and fast-paced platforming. Immerse yourself in this unique and exciting action-adventure platform game set in the mythological Persian world where you can control space and time as you wish. You can expect to play this on January 2024. Though Pal World is often referred to as Pokemon with guns, it does a lot to stand apart from Nintendo's hit franchise. Mainly, Pal World leans a bit more into realism, at least in terms of its lighting and world. Its third-person shooting gameplay is borderline absurd thanks to its wacky-looking monsters that wield massive chain guns to eliminate enemies. It launches in early access in January 2024.
The wait for The Wolf Among Us 2 has no doubt been excruciating, but it'll finally release in 2024. Taking place after the events of the first game, The Wolf Among Us 2 will continue with Telltale's beloved episodic design, but will also feature enhanced visuals and a captivating atmosphere. The Wolf Among Us is arguably Telltale's best game, so it will be interesting to see what the studio does with the story and characters all these years later. Tekken 8 is another installment in a very popular fighting franchise. The game is built upon the fundaments of the previous titles on Unreal Engine 5. The game will have amazing graphics for the new generation of consoles and PC. As with any other fighting game, the game can be played locally against your friends. Apart from the casual player versus player, you will also have the story mode and online multiplayer. Choose your character and fight like it's 1996. Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth will continue from where Yakuza Like a Dragon left off, sending protagonist Ichiban Kasuga to Hawaii on another adventure. We don't know much about this entry, but developer Ryu GA Gotoku Studio did confirm the game will retain the turn-based RPG mechanics from its predecessor, along with the return of Kazuma Kiryu. It'll launch in early 2024.